Right, well, I guess we should just say that we are back, at least in some kind of capacity. So that's pretty good. Uh, look at that, 2020 got marginally better. Yeah, we got so desperate to find something to do in recent days that we decided, hey, let's try YouTube again. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, that's what happened. <laughs> look, 2020's brought in a whole new wave of cynicism in me, and I'm just going to ride it out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess Sekiro Guide's coming. Yeah, we've started the Sekiro Guide, so that's something you can look forward to. Now, yeah, Demon Souls is coming out. That's fine, but that also you requires... try and get a fucking PS. I go on, you get a... yeah, fuck it, you'd fucking get a PS Five. We'll do a Demon Souls Let's Play and Platinum Guide if you send us a PS Five, or if you can at least point know. us to a PS Five. No, no, no send us. Just... Okay, send us a PS Five. Do they want a Platinum Guide? Send us. Okay, okay, you need to send us a PS Five. And five gifted subs. Five <laughs> gifted subs. <laughs> Either or, honestly. But so the question yeah. on everybody's mind, I guess, where have we been? Well, for me anyway, I experienced an extreme, extreme amount of burnout at some point last year, and I think it was just the realization, the amount of effort that I put into like a like. The last three or four yellow thumbnail videos I put up and they just got like zero traction. Because let's be fair, right? The YouTube algorithm has crippled this channel. And it is what it is, right? It is what it is. The guides will always get views like passively through time and that's fine. But the other stuff is a bit of a harder sell. And YouTube doesn't want to sell it. <laughs> yeah. That's the simplest way to put it. It just doesn't want to put our stuff up there. So it doesn't, but it's whatever. So, without any kind of, like, specific driving force to, like, actually make videos and stuff, that was, like, a bit of an issue. Um, and then, on top of that, like, Stephen and, uh, like, you were just kind of, like, tied down I mean, in horrendous jobs. I had jobs. a full-time job that was night shift. And, yeah, loads of other shit going on. And we just sort of stopped hanging out. Like, as often, and then with that... It was difficult to do. Then with that, when we were hanging out, we didn't want to record because we didn't really hang out as much, so recording just sort of fell by the wayside, and then we stopped yeah, doing it. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, You know, usual shit that happens when things just sort of... We all sort of got burnt out at the same time, I guess. Because at this point, I'm pretty much just going to be concentrating kind of on the stuff that we've already been doing, the stuff that people would have liked anyway. I guess one other thing as well is, like, the stuff that I was putting up was very much, I guess, trying to emulate other bigger YouTubers, and that is what it is. Like, I did want... Not that, like, I wanted a piece of that pie, because we always put up, like, like various, like, kind of, like, gameplay montage videos here and there, and a lot of them have done basically quite well, I suppose, actually, the ones that we have put up. But then the last few that we put up, especially the ladder locking video, I thought that would have done really, really good, but I guess it just didn't, and it was kind of copying the style of other YouTubers, and... I mean, I was fine for just, like, trying something new or whatever, but it just wasn't really doing particularly well. I guess that's another reason why we stopped, was that, I mean, Souls content dried out pretty damn fucking quick after Dark Souls 3. Yeah, yeah, because um, and, and then anything else that we would also want to do is already, like, been covered by other people that are just straight up doing it better. Like, what would even be the point in attempting to do Limit Breakers, like, style videos when he's already done, like, there's no way you can beat that formula. You can't, yeah. do you know what I mean? And then, as well as, like, when Sekiro came out, there wasn't anything that we could do, like, kind of, like, the Dark Souls 2 build videos or whatever. And they were, like, a lot of fun. Really enjoyed doing them, but there, was, there wasn't, like, a, a space for that, really. With Sekiro, there was nothing like that. Now, the thing is, though, is I think that, for me at least, Absence certainly made the heart grow fonder in this case, because I'm, like, kind of really raring to go over the past year and a bit. There's been a bunch of videos that I realised I actually do want to make. Um... And a lot of them is just kind of like analysis videos and like top 10 stuff. The stuff that generally is done pretty well on the channel and it seems that people kind of like. Now, other shit that I think you can look forward to is there are so many Dark Souls mods at this point and I really want to at least get an amount of playthroughs done of an amount of them. Now, something I will say is that probably not all of us are going to be in all of them and that's fine though. The point is, is that you're going to be at least seeing an amount more of at least an amount of us. Yeah, I'm not gonna, like, don't expect fucking multiple uploads weekly or, like, you know, an upload every week or anything like that sort of deal when it comes to Let's Plays and shit like that. I guess, yeah. like, the Sekiro guide, we're just gonna try and rattle that out as quick as we can. Yeah. Um, but the... 
Let's Plays and like us all sitting down together as a group for recording sessions stuff like that is all to do with people's schedules and like it's we <clears> like to just hang out yeah and like if we're going to spend a day recording we're basically not really spending that day just hanging out you know what I mean because like we'll get like things that we do and like yeah so <laughs> instead uh, so the Let's Plays are probably going to take like a little bit of a different format um, I think from now on when we're going to be doing Let's Play stuff we're actually just going to stream what it is that we're doing and realise we should have just been doing that like the whole time yeah if we'd have stuck with Twitch instead of just trying to batten down on YouTube yeah. like, we batten the band we were getting like 150 viewers per stream yeah sometimes, sometimes like sometimes 200 a couple of times and like, if we stuck on Twitch back then we'd be doing pretty decent in terms of like being a middling yeah. Twitch channel for nowadays like three, 400 ish views thereabouts I think if we'd have kept on there and it would have been a lot more beneficial for us in youtube anyway there's a lot of burnout with youtube like all the background editing and shit like that and yeah having to do the let's play and then find all the parts put it all together all the usual jargon editing shit background stuff blip cut, hard cut to the problem which is a uh, yeah we're just gonna live stream it and then it'll be and then essentially easier. we can like cut down so we've got the full stream of like so say we're doing like a randomizer mod run something we're not done before something we actually can do something really good to stream We'll then end up like cutting down all the best bits. I guess it's like kind of what like Lobos and stuff does, and it is like slightly different to the formula. But I think that those videos kind of do a little bit better, a little bit more digestible, and then we'll also like you can then watch like the full vods of the playthroughs if you want, because some people are into that kind of like more long form kind of thing. So yeah, that'll be let's there. plays becoming highlights of like full playthroughs is kind of what we've always done. It was just yeah. more like focused into certain areas of so now it's just gonna be a little bit more focused guess. yeah yeah because like we'd do a let's play we'd start an undead burg and then we get to the end of undead burg and we'd stop the recording and then we'd start the recording again and it's like hi guys we're back and now it's undead parish and yeah yeah you know and then we'd stop and so now it's just going to be one huge long video there's not going to be any welcome back to episode whatever the let's aye, play because it's all going to be like one long format stream and we could get one or two maybe three fucking out of a single stream depending on how long we stream so then another part of that as well is like there's so many like modded playthroughs and stuff that we want to do that if we were to do a full let's play of each one it would be like there'd be just so fucking many of them in so many parts and bec because there's actually so many modded playthroughs I think it's probably better to just like highlight all of them and like go through it like that. Yeah this it should make it simpler for us in the end as well because if there's a particularly good moment like if we're streaming everything now and there's a really good moment then we just fucking highlight that shit then and there. And then that's timestamp for us to just go, okay, at this point into the like the local yeah, recording, yeah. we know that's a good moment so we can cut there and like editing and shit. And it's just, it, if we can keep track of when the highlights happen as they happen and shit like that, it makes it way easier for... Plus, with also stuff. streaming as well, um, when you're streaming, it's kind of easier to go a bit longer when the chat's that there. It's it's kind of it's weird, like when you're just doing a Let's Play and get kind of... You can kind of burn out in that one session. As odd as it sounds, having two other people in the room with you, it does feel like you're sitting in a room talking to yourself. But when you're like... When the chat's chat, there, you know yeah. you're talking to other people. There's an ever-evolving topic that isn't from the three people who are sitting down to play the game and try to talk to an imaginary audience when the audience are right in the chat. Exactly, so that's exactly. another thing it might make... We'll probably seem more excited. We'll probably seem more engaged, I guess. Yeah. Um, especially if it's... Uh, we're going to have to, like, change how we talk to the chat as well because we're going to have to start including chat's names and questions so that there's context in the video for people watching and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff that will change compared to how we used to run things. But like I, I think ago. ultimately it will actually just be, like, a kind of better experience overall because, like, you'll still have the option to watch, like, the full thing. Much but, tighter edits, bigger, probably bigger gaps in gameplay and stuff like that. But you know, it's just at this point, it's like dark. It's like Dark Souls. Well, like seen it, like, you just kind of probably yeah. just want the best bits at this point. Like at this point, we just want fucking Elden Ring. Now the other, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the other thing as well is this also gives us more opportunity to play different games as well. So, like there's Spire. always like Slay the Spire. There's always like Dark Souls adjacent games that. Blasphemous and fucking yeah. uh, dead, whatever it's made, dead cells and fucking Titanfall and Titan Souls, rather. And yeah, like, so I mean, let's be fair, like, the main content of this channel, as much as the Let's Plays people really enjoy and can go back and watch, you'll still have that experience. But the main content's always been like the top tens and the analysis videos and the guide videos, so that's also not going anywhere. So ultimately, I think that you're just going to end up with like 
maybe not quite as much in terms of every Let's Play episode, but you will end up just getting kind of more concentratedly better content, I think. The guides are still going to be pretty much, like, the same. Yeah, like, the guides, guides always going to be The good. guides are going to be full playthrough with, like, minimal cuttings and minimal edits and stuff like that, and just, yeah... Purely information focused, unless it's going to be like fucking a game like Bloodborne, where there's just nothing to talk about again. <laughs> so, you can be in it. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> so we're saying we're obviously going to be streaming a lot more. Um, I think most of the time it'll probably be me and Gary, but obviously Stephen's definitely up for that. And um, we're certainly looking forward to kind of getting back into the swing of things. And we don't want to fucking leave you out, do we? Oh, so uh, Gary had an idea where we want, he wants to stream Demon Souls and every time he dies we shoot him in the leg with his pellet gun. Right. Or shoot him in the back, maybe. Right. Look at that. <laughs> shoot him in the horn. <laughs> shoot him in the horn so that, that way it affects his gameplay. It's either that or I get electrocuted. You get to choose. Oh, we should do a Let's Pain. <laughs> where you play through the game and each time you die you get shocked or something. Each time you get hit you get shocked. Hey, uh, how the I'm... fuck are we doing that? No, how the fuck are you doing that? I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do like a drinking game that will hook you up to a car bat. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's back and he's got brand new up to date <laughs> references from only five years ago. <laughs> the oncoming storm. I guess it's going to be interesting to see how everyone's changed because it's been a few years since we've been on YouTube. No, it's not, it's been a year. No, oh, like, no. since all like, three of like us have been like. It's been a year and four months. Since the last time we all Last June or July. Since we all streamed. Oh, since we all streamed? Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's gonna be a while. Twitch will be like, who the fuck? What happened? Yeah, but oh my god, that'll be a, an event. A riot. We need to make sure the first thing we stream is like... Oh, I guess it'll be Demon Souls. Us all playing Demon Souls. That'll we be the should first do stream. a Let's Pain as the first stream. Oh, can we still, I still think that getting shot is the best idea. I mean, it's pretty funny, to be fair. Just, that's it, Gary, you get shot. <laughs> Have you shot yourself that is, with it? That, that is the ball bearings that shoot you. Wait, it's metal. I never said that it was metal. The ball bearings aren't metal. Are those... They're not metal. Okay. We're, We're going to actually shoot you, you fucking madman. But he, sh he shot a box and it went straight through the corrugated box. Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. But well, shoot yourself in the leg the new and see what it's like. Oh, well. It'll be like getting hit with a paintball. Not a point blank. It'll go under the skin. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna blow your cheek out, you fucking idiot. Don't. Shoot himself in the leg and he tries to kill himself. <laughs> Did you shoot out the leg? How <laughs> sore was it? <laughs> Maybe no let's play on that one then, no. <laughs> now that he's done it once, he's like, oh, maybe I should back out of this before it's final. We can cut this out and edit, right? <laughs> oh, bye. Cool. Um, Say bye, everybody. Good, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> no. No. You're just... No! <laughs> so... So... You're just saying that capitalism doesn't involve money. No, it does involve money. You need the money to buy the capital. It's all about the money. You buy the seat on the plane. You don't show up and get told your seat's been sold to someone else. You already bought the fucking seat. It's not space. it's been sold to someone else. You both paid the money for the seat, but you both showed up for it. That's the problem. No, the problem is that they sold a ticket for a seat that had already been bought. Right, okay, so here's how it works, right? Here's how it well, works, right? No, so I know how it works in reality. 120, That's why I'm saying 120, 120 cunts. 120 seats Flight on the plane, companies right? companies 
Our deck kits. 120 seats on the plane. You sell 120 tickets. You've paid for the fucking flight. You don't sell 200 tickets to a flight that only has 120 seats. But no, Do you know why? They won't sell 200. They'll sell maybe 125. Because statistically speaking, five people won't show up for it. Who gives a fuck? They've already took the money. Yes, so... Fuck you. No. Fuck them for selling tickets. So what if these five people that are like, oh, they're not going to show up, then they do show up and then the flight's overbooked? No, then they calmly and politely ask you to get off the flight because they've already sold the seat and they'll give you another flight. So why did you buy that ticket? For the, ch- for the chance that, you- that they won't show up so you can go to your destination. So at what point... <laughs> Was I wrong when I said flight companies are assholes? Oh, that's correct. I'm not defending so it, by the way. So why did you start this argument? I'm j- because I said, well, that's capitalism for you. And you go, that's not capitalism. It fucking is. That's not because... No, that's not a symptom of capitalism. Yes, that's a symptom it fucking of, is. A, of a garbage business practice. That's nothing to do with and capitalism. And capitalism encourages that. Money no, at doesn't. all costs. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It's the same reason. Capitalism is the same fucking reason that they wouldn't hire any more staff for your fucking shifts. There's only two people to cover right, four no, no. people's work. Right, so in that case, then why do trains not double sell? They probably do. Trains don't overbook seats. You don't know that. I do know that. You don't get to sit and reserve seats in the trains up here. Well, if I owned a train company, I'd double book. You should just execute you tomorrow <laughs> and save us all the like, like, trouble, shouldn't we? <laughs> Remove one shit stain from the earth. <laughs> Scumbag that had run his company like a fucking airport. Play like an airport. <laughs> so if you ran like a shop and you were like, say you were selling motors, right? Right. And some guy phones you and says, I want a new BMW. Like, I've only got one BMW. 25 grand. I right on it, but so you pay your 25. Then somebody right. else phones you and goes, I want a BMW. I've only got one BMW. Do you take his <laughs> 25 grand as well? No, it's well? different. How's it different? Because that's selling, that's selling a prod, a cat selling I'll get you capital. the next BMW. See, but the plane is you're selling a service. Right. And the whole point is that they've realised that every single flight that's been fully booked, there's always a percentage of people that don't show up to it. So it's worth more to them to take the chance that they won't show up on a fully booked flight than it is to right. not book those seats and have to give people compensation. You, I understand why they do it. It just still why is why are we arguing about whether or not they're assholes? We're now arguing. We're not. They are assholes. We're now arguing about whether or not you're an asshole because you're <laughs> fine with this business practice and so fine with it you'd actually do it <laughs> somehow because capitalism pushes me into it. You're a socialist. Right, but I we live within capitalism. Interest in that. I'm saying. No, you're Look you're at just, you fucking running your business I'm legitimately. How are you ever going to make money, Stephen? So you know how that whole idea that if weed becomes legal here, we open a shop? Uh-huh. I'm kind of like reconsidering that maybe we don't open a shop. Maybe I open a shop. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you, you, you can open a shop for six maybe, months, bro. Maybe you don't open a shop. <laughs> I mean, I'll see you with your zero star Yelp reviews because like I paid for an ounce and he sold it to somebody else and told me to come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get sued within like three days. You're gonna be the first weed lawsuit in the UK. In <laughs> three days. You just We're not going into business together, not after this. You really, you really meet someone when they're talking about their capitalist ideals, don't you? All right, remain a poor man in a poor man's economy. I'll be up on my on the mountain looking over all the fucking peons, you included. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Jeff, just calm down a wee bit. It's no Amazon. It's <laughs> get in the cage, bro. <laughs> Six months. Of Roll it. joints. Keep rolling joints. Just get a fucking machine to do it. You are the machine to do it. No. You're cheaper. Are you joking? I'm a better salesman. I don't have the upfront money for a machine, a, a joint rolling machine. But you know what I do have the money for? A cage. Why don't you just... Get their fingers to work. Why don't less of that, mail that. 